Again, guys, good morning. Today, inshallah, we'll continue in lesson four, page 463, area of regular polygons. In the previous lessons, we um, uh, knew some of the polygons uh, for the sides from three until 10. We said we have a triangle with three uh, uh, sides, a quadrilateral four sides, pentagon five sides, hexagon six sides, and go on. And in the previous lesson, we uh, explained the word regular. Regular means a polygon with all of its sides are equal. A polygon with all of its sides are equal. Now, the area of regular polygon, to find it, we need two steps, okay? First step, guys, divide the polygon into equally equally uh, known shape shapes divide the polygon into equally known known shapes step two find the area of one shape then multiply by the number of the shapes now to understand this let's go to example one directly example one page 464 Example one, page 464. Let me prepare my books, guys. Just one minute or less. <clears throat> page 464, guys. All of you go there. Okay, who can read, guys? Who can read here? Y'all read any all. Example one, guys. All of you go there, please. Example one. Yeah, let me read. Find area of regular polygon. A stop sign is shaped like a regular oct octagon. Each side of the sign is 15 inches long and measure. 36 inches between parallel sides. Find the area Good. of the Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. So we have regular hexagon, guys. Regular hexagon. Okay. Hexagon means we have six sides. If you see the sign, the stop sign in the example, and you count the sides, it is six sides. Okay. One, two, three, no, four, five, five, six. Octagon. One, right, okay. two, what the right octagon regular octagon not not hexagon okay one two three four five six seven eight yes octagon guys means six sides uh, sorry eight sides octagon means eight sides eight sides okay i will try to graph it in the board So let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And each side length is 15, 15 what inch? 15 inch. Hello, inch? Yes. Okay, guys. Now, regular polygon, the question said regular octagon means each side of these sides are or is 15. 15, 15, 15. All of them is 15. Each one of them is 15, okay? Now the other, the other um, uh, information which, are, which is given in this question that said the distance or the length between two parallel sides, this side guys is parallel to this side. Look here at the board and understand please. Parallel sides means the opposite sides. The opposite sides means the, the distance between this line here and this line here, the opposite of it, is how much all of it, 
is 36. 36. So this distance here is 36. Now, let's apply these steps. Divide the polygon into equally known shapes. So here I will divide the polygon as they did in the book, like this one. And I will divide it into triangles. I will divide it into triangles. Now, the question said each side length is 15, okay? And the distance between the parallel sides here, all of it is 36. The center here should be at the middle, means if the hole is 36, then here it is 18, and here it is 18 also, the height. Because the total side here between this side and the parallel side is 36. Now, what we have, guys, we have equivalent or congruent triangles. We have eight equal triangles. Let's count the triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. And each triangle of them has base 15 with height 18. Base 15 with height 18. Base 15 with height 18. All of them has the same base and the same height. Yeah. Okay, guys. All of these triangles have the same base and the same height. So the second step, find the area of one shape means one triangle. We know the area of one triangle. Because all of the triangles have the same base and the same height means all of the triangles have the same area. So what is the total area here? The total area. So A equal, we have eight triangles, eight triangles. So I'll write eight, multiply area of a triangle. A triangle, a, one triangle. So the total area of this figure or of this octagon is eight, why eight? because we have eight triangles. Multiply area of a triangle. Okay? Again, again. What I did here, I split the octagon into eight triangles. They did this in your book. The question said, regular polygon with side length 15. Regular means all of these sides have the same length, 15, 15, 15. And the question said also that the parallel or the distance between parallel sides mean this side is parallel to this side. Okay, this side here is parallel to this side. Here. The distance always between the parallel sides is 18, uh, sorry, 36. And because the center at the middle means this is 18 and this is 18, and it's applied in all of these triangles. Now, assume that, assume, I'm assuming only that the area of each triangle is 10, for example. Means if this 10, this 10, 10, 10, 8 tenths. Means the whole area, means the whole area is 8 multiplied 10. Don't talk at me without permission, please. Now, again, guys. To calculate or to know the area of regular polygon, you need to divide it into triangles like this one. Then multiply the number of the triangle by the area of one triangle of them. And we took the area of the triangle. So here, what I wrote the first step, A equal eight. Why eight? Because we have octagon. Eight sides means eight triangles, equal triangles. Eight multiply area of a triangle, a triangle, one triangle, which is equal to eight multiply. What's the area of the triangle, yeah, Nidal? Half. Lahki. Half multiply B multiply H. Half B H. This is the area of a triangle. Now let's apply it. The base is equal in all sides, in all the triangles. The height is the same in all the triangles. So this is equal 
8 multiply half multiply the base 15 and the height always 18 which is equals to 8 multiply half of 18 9 by 15 i don't know 9 by 15 it is 45 13 135 which is equals to 8 multiply 135 is 1080 which is equal to 1080 what inch power 2 don't forget oh, no. that this area which is 135 means each triangle of them is 135 each triangle is 135 but we have 8 of 135 so the total area is 8 multiply the 135 this is example 1 page 464 let's do the check now we have check page 465, uh, 464 also. 464, we have check. Let's do it together. Omar read. Check the wide section of the soccer ball is a regular hexagon. Mm -hmm. Regular what? Hexagon. Hexagon. Regular hexagon means hexagon with six six. In the previous lesson, we said hexagon means six sides. Regular hexagon means hexagon with six equally sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And the question okay. divided it into triangles. Stop. If the question did not divide it, what we will do? We will divide it. <laughs> Continue. Regular hexagon with each side. So, each side of the hexagon is one point eight inches. One point eight inches. Each side is one point eight. Means this one point eight. This one point eight. One point. All of them one point eight. Continue. Find the area mm. of the hexagon. Good. Let's find the area of the hexagon now. How we split? How we? How we make the divisions, guys? We put my center point. Then I make a triangle like this. For each corner, I will make a line. Now, let's count how many triangles we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. But each triangle, the question said, each, each triangle has base side 1.8. And what's the height given here? The height, how much? 1.56. The height, 1. 56. 56 inches. Now, because we have regular hexagon, means all the sides are equal. Means each triangle of them has the same side base and has the same what height. Means all of these triangles have the same area. So to find the total area now, A equals what, yeah, Omar? A equals six multiply the area of a triangle. Oh. Area of? A triangle. Ah. A ah triangle. One, right? One. Ah means yes. one. So A, A equal, we have six triangles, means six multiply the area of a triangle, one triangle of them. One of them is enough because they are all the same. Equal, under equal, six multiply. What's the area of the triangle, Yabni? Half, B, half BH. Half BH. Six multiply, half BH, the formula, we know it. Equal, six multiply, half multiply. The base, how much? 1.8. 1.8. 1. 
multiply the height how much? احكي يا 1.56 1.56 equal 6 multiply or no what we will do here by calculator you multiply all of these numbers together and I will use my calculator here to save my time I have 6 multiply half multiply 1.8 multiply 1.56 which is equal to 8 and if you see the question 8424, 8.424. If you see the question, guys, again, look here. The question said, find, read, Yabni. Find the area of the hexagon. Aywa. Round to the nearest hundred. Round to the nearest hundred. Here, we have decimal. The first number, guys, after the decimal, the first number, after the decimal, we call it tenths. Mish tenths, no, tenths. tenths. Remember, we took that before, I think. Tenths. Yes. The second number here, we call it hundredths. They want us to round the answer to the nearest hundredths, means I need to round the two. Now, how we round? We took rounding before. Take a look to the number after the two which is four. Now, if the number after the wanted number to round is zero, one, two, three, four, we don't add one. If it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, we add one. Here we have four. So the two is still two and we erase the four. It is rounded. So the answer is 8.42 watt. Sorry, 42 watt. This is 42. 42 watt. Inch. Square. This is the check page 464. Copy. Thank you, Come guys. Any questions, guys? If you don't understand, please put your hand. If you, if you do, remove your hands, please. I saw. Ibrahim. Mr. I don't understand the check. How many triangles we have? Six. Each triangle has base how much? Uh, uh, 1.56 inches. And what? Uh, sorry, sorry. Brahim, yes. 5.77. Ya bini rakkiz, Allah yisadak. Rakkiz, rakkiz, habibi. Each triangle has base how much? 1.8 and each triangle has height how much 1.56 now each triangle of these six triangles have the same base and the same height all of them right means they have the same no. area right if they have the same base and the same height then all of these triangles have equally area correct Correct. So if I want the whole area of this oct uh, hexagon, uh, the whole area now, the whole area, it is six because we have six triangles. 
multiply the area of one triangle of them, right? Right. So six multiply the area of the triangle, then apply. What's the problem? Okay, thank you. Only I wasn't understanding. Here, look here, Yabni. Here, how many triangles we have in the example? Here, eight. Eight triangles. Each triangle of them has space 15 and height 18. To find the whole area now, the whole area means eight multiply area of one triangle, then apply. Get it? Okay, now I understand. Got it? Got it. Now, go with me, go with me to the check question. See it on page 466, quickly. Yes. We are on the check question, guys. Check question, page 466. Sorry, all of you go there, guys. Let's solve this question before uh, the period finished. Yell, read. Morgan designed a stained glass window to be added above the door at the community center. The window yes. is shaped like an octagon. Okay. Yes. Octagon. Octagon with. Aiba. With octagon with 15 inch sides. With 15 inch sides means this uh, thing here, uh, 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 the, he, w which this student made or this boy made, octagon. Margon. Octagon. Okay. Octagon means how many sides? Octagon, uh, eight sides. Eight sides. So I will try to graph the eight sides polygon here. We have eight sides here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? And okay. each side of them, the question said, with how much each side of them? A zero point seventy dollar per square inch. Rakiz, Yabni, I'm asking about each side. Ibrahim, Rakiz, Rakiz. Please. Please. Each side of them is how much? 15 inch. Each side of them is 15 inch, means all of the sides have the same what? Same length, uh, 15, 15, yeah. all of them 15 inches, right? All of them. Yeah, right. Now, let's split, split, make divisions. I'll start, I'll start with the center point at the middle here, and I will make lines like this to each corner to each corner. Triangles. Now, how many triangles I have here? One, eight. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. Each one of them has base 15 and height how much in the question is given? How much the height? If stand glass cost zero, uh, zero yabne, point yabne, per yabne, square yabne, inch. Yabni, rakiz, rakiz, rakiz. Allah yusaybek. خلك من الكوس أنا. I'm asking about the height. The height, يبني. The height. The height How is 18.107 inch. See, it is not the cost. I'm asking about the height. Leave the cost by side. Allah is that. Okay. The height, 18.107. It is given from the question. This height given, 18.107 inches. What I have here, I have eight triangles, eight triangles. Each triangle of them has the same base 15 and the same height 18.107. All of them have the same height, all of them. If all of the triangles have the same base and the same height, means they have the same areas, right? Right. Now. The question now continue and tell me what they want. What the question wants? If ten glass cost zero point seventy dollar per square inch, how much will she spend on the window? Good. Each square inch cost zero point seventy. Each 
each means 0 0.70 for each one square inch. How much will she spend on the window? So the first step is to find the whole area, right? The first step is to find the whole area. Then after we find the whole area, to find the total cost, we multiply the area by how much each square inch costs, right? Now, the first step is to find the whole area. What's the whole area, Yabni? Eight, 8 multiply 0 0.70 times 0 0.70 And you put uh, you put uh, thing, then you put half pH and close it. لا لا ما بدي أحط half pH أنا. What's the first step? What should I write? You will put pH the base no. and height. No, no. What's the first step, Yabni? What's the first step? Oh, yes, area of a triangle. Rakaz Yabni, A equal 8 multiply area of a triangle. Now, A equal under equal 8 multiply the formula of the triangle's area. What is the formula? Half, um, half plus BH. Naam? What? Half multiply BH. حكيت بلس كأنك ولا أنا سمعت غلط؟ أنا سمعت غلط، مستحيل تحكي بلس يعني مستحيل. Half BH equal 8 multiply half multiply the base how much for each triangle? The base is 15 inch. 15 in place of B. Multiply. The height how much? 18.107 inch. 18.107 inch. Now, I'll use my calculator to multiply all of these numbers together to find the total area. The total area is... 8 multiply 0 0.5 اللي هو 1 over 2 multiply 15 multiply 18.107 the answer is 1000 1000 0 8 6.42 inch power 2 got it? This is the total area, Ibrahim, صح? صح. This is the total area, but the question does not want from us to find the area. The question wants from us to find the total cost of painting or doing this window, okay? The total cost, they gave me the cost of one inch, right? Right. So what I will do to find the total cost now? The cost equal what? How we find the cost? You will... I don't know. You have me each one inch... Because the question said each one inch square cost how much? The cost of 15 inch. Read, Yabni, read. F, see the word F. F stand glass cost 0.70 dollars. Per square inch. شو دخل square inch, Yabni? لحظة الله يا حبيبي يا قلب الله يسعدك. I ask you how much each square inch costs. You said 15 inch. 
ايش يعني 15 انش ذا كوست اوف 1 انش كيف يعني which is weird right يعني imagine that you enter a supermarket and you ask the uh, the, the seller boy the seller boy you know, how much this chocolate costs and he replied you it costs 2 centimeter is this make look logic يبني it's weird what is the cost of one inch square in the question what is it money how much it's 0 0.70 0 0.70 dollars for each one square inch right right but i want the cost of 1086.42 inches bar two what's the cost should be how we find the cost We will divide. Divide. Time. Look here, Ibn al Allah is saying. You go to the supermarket, okay? Rekiz ma'ai. Forget the question and focus with me here, okay? Okay. Hello? Mr. Ab, focus. Yeah. Now you go to the supermarket. You go to the supermarket. And you want to buy six chocolates, okay? How many chocolates you want to buy? Six. Six chocolates. The owner told you or tells you that each one chocolate costs five dollars or five reals. How much you will pay? Thirty chocolates. Thirty chocolate. Thirty dollars or thirty reals. Okay. How you get the thirty? What you did? I do multiply. You do the number of the chocolates by the cost of each one chocolate to find the total, right? See this, this guys. We do it always in our in our day. Always we go to the supermarket, we want to buy a lot of things, uh, okay, six chocolate, each one is five, multiply by five. This is the normal life, okay? And when it comes to math, it becomes difficult. I don't know why. Now focus, Yabni. Each one square inch costs zero one seventy dollars How much the cost of 1,886.42 square inches? What I will do? Multiply. Multiply what with what, Yabni? Multiply 0 Equal 160.2. To find the cost, guys, we multiply the area by the cost of each square inch, and the answer would be 760.49. This is the check page 466. This is the check page 464. This is example one. And what you will do today, guys, you have homework. Don't forget your homework. Don't forget your homework. Do it. And don't forget your online assignment from 2 p.m. until 11 p.m. 2 p.m. today. Until 11 p.m. on Saturday. Okay? Don't forget that. That's all for today. If you have any questions, put your hands, please. Yes, Nidal. Yes, Nidal.
Mr. Wright is the answer of the Mr. Wright mm. 66. What? Now we'll bring the things that have the units. Now a little bit. I don't hear you, Ibni. I'll listen to you. Yalla, ish, ahki. Hello? Yes, Mr. Wright, can you hear me? Yes, talk, Yabni, talk. What do you want? What's the question? What is the answer of the second page 466? This is the answer. The amount of money which they need to spend on this window. This is the answer. And I don't care about the answer. I care about how we get the answer. Else, guys. Any questions? Okay. Do your homework. Do your online assignment. Thank you so much. Have a good day.